Commissioner of Police to discuss the seven ambitions of the Bermuda Police Service. Without further ado, the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Stephen Corbishley. Sir? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm delighted to be here with you to announce uh, the change plan for the Bermuda Police Service in going forward over the next two years. It's titled Seven Ambitions, and it sets out an exciting programme of change for us to be able to deliver better policing for communities in Bermuda. The Seven Ambitions are fu a fundamental review about how we do business, the mission and values that our staff hold, in focusing on victims and doing the right thing for everyone in Bermuda, looking at our organisational structure and making best use of the resources that we have so we're efficient and we're focused in what we've got to do. A significant area of investment is going to be in community policing and many of you will be aware of our plans to launch the Parish Constable Scheme where we will see police officers in each and every parish across Bermuda working on a day-to-day -day basis with local residents, community leaders, businesses and voluntary services as well as the church. We're also going to focus very clearly around serious and organised crime. We recognise the challenge that we have in regards to gun-related violence and we're going to do more work more focused and target those responsible, but also engage with communities to get their information, their support, and to for help them to be more confident. Another key area that we're going to look at is to protect those that are most vulnerable, often known as hidden harm. They may be victims who haven't got a voice, those that actually can't access our services but are actually suffering, and that would include victims of domestic abuse, but also young people and children that perhaps are the victims of crime, whether it be sexual exploitation or other forms of abuse. I also want to invest heavily in regards to what I do for the officers and staff in the Bermuda Police Service. I was delighted on Friday to appoint uh, six new officers and promote them to inspector. So it represents my stand as commissioner to invest in the talent that we have and to support Bermudians in going forward. But we need to focus around other aspects of training, particularly in regards to leadership and the way in which we engage with the public. We are a customer service. The most important customer we have is the public. So we need to be professional, considerate and engaging for all that come into our contact. The programme is being led by Superintendent Naima Aswood, alongside the Assistant Commissioners and other superintendents. And it's extremely exciting for us to be able to launch it today. But it's not just exciting for the Bermuda Police Service. I really do believe that this will make a fundamental difference to the services that we provide to all communities in, B in Bermuda, that we're more attentive, we're more able to listen, but most importantly, we're more able to respond to keep Bermuda safer and to do things that really change people's lives and protect them. I'm quite happy to take questions. Good afternoon, um, Commissioner um, you mentioned the uh, a more focused um, vision on community policing. Can you describe the benefits of, of having a parish constable? Well, it's often said in policing that uh, the police are communities and communities are the police, so it's essential that we have an important relationship with them. Quite often, the danger in policing is we become like a fire brigade where we turn up, we put the fire out and we drive off into the distance and we don't recognise some of the community issues that are there. So by investing police officers into the community, as I've described, actually allows us to listen for us to understand those deep-rooted problems and perhaps prevent some of the issues that we face at a later stage. So it's a very good investment for us to do, but it's also extremely legitimate. The public want to see our police officers in communities. They want to build relationships with them. They also feel reassured when they see a police officer, particularly one that they see each and every day. And the kind of things that those officers can do, uh, whether it be um, community contacts, whether it be the kind of... Uh, meetings that they can have in in a variety of different places really go a long way to deal with those issues and, and, and just be a visible police service. So it's absolutely essential, but it's not just the parish constables. It's the work that we're doing around the community action teams for us to be able to deal with issues around antisocial behaviour and maybe some other things uh, that affect the community. 
uh, kite flying and a variety of things that are really important for residents and actually can blight their lives. But also one of the other things that we're doing is we're reopening our police stations. We're investing in putting resources in those local communities. So it's not just uniformed police officers, <coughs> it's CID officers as well. And I'm committed to give each and every person in Bermuda their own local police service. Does that include the St. Police Station? It does, yes. It's right the way across the island. And we're taking each location uh, as we go forward. And we'll be looking at every single police station that we've got, trying to put some kind of resource in there. And even if a resource is not there 24 hours a day, that they will receive support uh, from officers and staff that we have here. Um, so how will you monitor Well, one of the things that I've already touched upon is that we have a dedicated change manager, Superintendent Aswood. We have a collective team that are involved in delivering this both strategically but also practically. We're looking at different performance measures to actually identify the impact of those changes. Obviously, there'll be issues around reports in crime, but there's also around community confidence. And I'm extremely keen over the next few months to do a survey with the local community to actually look at how they feel now about the service and then revisit that in six to 12 months time to see if our changes have made a difference both in regards to confidence and the reality of life for them. Dennis for news. Commissioner you, you discussed the substations at either end of the island. Can you just clarify the question was about the St George's police station. Are we actually talking about St. George's Police Station or the Well, what we're going to do in our release, we will describe all our locations, where they are, the opening times. So I haven't got that detail to hand at the moment, but we will provide that information to you. Community policing used to be pretty, pretty robust on the island and it sort of disappeared. Are you starting from scratch? Well, I don't think it's any, any such thing as starting from scratch. There's no such thing as a new idea. I've worked all over the world and, and community policing is the bedrock of a good service. <coughs> Excuse me. So our investment in those officers will be very real. We're going through that process at the moment, but it's also complemented by a wide, a wide array of other issues as well. I've mentioned the community action team. I mentioned the local deployment, the CID officers. So actually there's a mixed team that will be working in our communities as we go forward. Thank you.